Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these hammerlock coupling links from Durabilt on our 2018 Ford F-250 Super Duty. So what these are going to do is go through the safety chain loops on your truck here and give you a good place to hook in your safety chains, whether you've got these oversized ones or maybe some smaller, more standard sizes. It gives you a nice, easy place to connect because the safety chain loops on our F-250 here aren't very easy to hook up to. You can see the smaller one, there's not really a great way to get it on there. Maybe right there is probably okay. And with the larger, more oversized hook, I can hook it on, but getting it off, I've got to get it at just the right angle to unhook it. And it's just not easy. It's not really easy to do. And you might have some fitment issues with these larger hooks where they just don't fit at all. So having this extension over here makes that hookup a lot quicker and easier. And maybe you have less clearance issues. You can get these in multiple sizes. These ones are gonna be the half inch ones. It's made of a grade 80 steel with a red powder coat to protect from rust and corrosion. And these are gonna be a pretty hefty install. It's got a 12,000 pound safe working load limit. And the way you install it is actually feeding one end through, lining up this other side, dropping the pin through, and physically hammering it through this center portion and out the other side. Definitely more involved on the install process, but the end result is something that is not coming off. Comparing that to something like a quick link that you can just loop around and thread closed. Now this would be way easier to put on, but someone could come by and take it off. And overall, it's not as big of an opening as our Durabilt option. So again, for those larger safety chain hooks, this might be a better way to go. That install process can be tricky, but we'll walk you through that right now. So starting off, putting the two pieces together around the safety chain loop and putting the pin through the first half, just like that, so it'll hold itself. Putting our center ring through the center and just pushing this until it'll hold itself in place. Now, with this, you can just start hammering away and try to drive it through, but we definitely had some issues getting this in place because there's not a great place for the link to actually bind up against the hitch. So what we're gonna do is actually apply a little bit of spray on the end of the pin here to help lubricate it and drive it through and use a floor jack to try to bind this up against the hitch and hold it in place a bit better. So we've got it wedged up in place right now where it's pretty stable. I'm gonna start hammering depending on our success level. I might switch it around and try to bind it a different way. It really just comes down to however you can get it to hold still and stay in place while you're hammering. And there we go. We can lower down our floor jack. Make sure everything's going through the other side okay. And we're good. And overall, it didn't take us too long to get it installed. It was really just some trial and error with finding the right place to bind this up so it would hold itself still. Some other trucks that we've done these installs on, there's more room to kind of wedge it against itself in a way. But with this specific truck, we had to use the floor jack. And it worked out pretty well. Now we've got a great attachment point for our safety chains on our 2018 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Thanks for watching.